Hi guys and welcome back to our 31 days of horror advent calendar. We're getting toward the end of the calendar here. We're, we're toward the end of this calendar. I can't believe it. This month of October has been a lot of fun putting these things together for you. It's Sunday, October 23rd, and in keeping in theme with the rest of our Sundays, we're talking about 1968's Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby is written and directed by Roman Polanski, who a lot of people know for the classic Chinatown starring Jack Nicholson. This was actually his first movie, and I think it's an excellent, excellent movie. Not just in horror movies, but just in general film. Mia Farrow stars as Rosemary, a young woman who marries a new husband and moves into an apartment with him. Uh, she starts to become suspicious uh, steadily as the movie goes on of not just the people around her in the building, but her husband as well. It's an interesting paranoid thriller and slash horror movie, and that's definitely why I had to make the list. I love the paranoid uh, horror movies, and this one is kind of one of the earliest ones that I think I've seen. I think it's one of the greatest examples of a paranoid thriller as well. This movie like gets really under your skin. You don't really know who's who's in on it. Uh, her neighbors keep visiting her in the house. Her husband's acting kind of weird. All of these, and all the while being pregnant with a child too. This movie is super creepy. Uh, Roman Polanski does such a good job of building this atmosphere in this apartment complex, and the, uh, you know, and her feeling like she's stuck in that spot. You know, she doesn't. She's new to the town, new husband, new neighbors, new friends in this in the city, and the paranoia just keeps building and building and building. I think that's the really interesting thing about Rosemary's Baby as a film is that it really makes you question as you see her questioning herself about what's real and what's not. Is this all in her head or is this really happening right now? And I think that's the that's the fun of the movie is you're really the whole time you're trying to figure out if Rosemary is the one that maybe there's something wrong with and it's not the thing surrounding her. So that's been our short review today of Rosemary's Baby. I hope you guys check this one out for your Satanic Sunday. We've had a lot of fun doing this list for you guys. I hope you guys are following along with the 31 Days of Horror. So remember, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. Comment down below in your thoughts of Rosemary's Baby. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at back to feature We'll discuss movies with you like Rosemary's Baby all day long. I've been Giovanni Carlo. And I'm John Vandaloo. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. What have you done to it?